Well, good morning to the LPHS community. Uh, we're excited to present to you video number two in our ongoing sneak peek series to the renovation. We're excited today as we have one of our English teachers, Shelly Phillips, uh, who is going to join us today. We've gotten a lot of interest from the community about the mobile classrooms uh, that are now taking up the majority of our East Gym parking lot. And so we thought this would be an interesting tour for you today to see what these mobile classrooms are going to look like and get the perspective from one of our teachers. So, Shelly? Good morning. I'm, I'm happy to welcome everyone to our, our English village, as, as we're calling it, uh, and show everyone around today. All right, so we've got Matt Baker uh, again with us behind the camera. Matt, say hello. Hello. All right, we're going to go head on in now to the mobile classrooms. Well, hello everybody. Here we are inside the, the mobile classrooms. Um, it was really amazing when these were delivered uh, back in, oh, I don't know, it was maybe early mid-June. And we had, I think there was eight semis that came in and with each kind of modular piece uh, of, of the classrooms. And then it took them several weeks to be able to piece them together and they sewed them together, buttoned them up and air conditioning is now operational. We've got power uh, for all the rooms and it's quite an amazing transformation when you see these these modulars coming in on the semi into what it's actually turned into. So maybe Shelly, you kind of share maybe your first impressions when you uh, uh, came in the first time. Um, well, you know, with, with the renovation and, and any kind of change, you always basically you, you hope for the best um, and that's what we I feel like uh, the English department has received when we open the doors um, first of all like like Mr. Robleski spoke about the, the air conditioning um, definitely um, in the in the warm summer months and coming back to school is something that is um, will be very nice uh, for the students and teachers um, one of the first things um, that we noticed when we checked out the rooms were just the fact that they're very spacious. Um, and that's something that, uh, you know, in LP, we've had definitely smaller classrooms. So uh, I have 28 desks in here right now, and it seems like um, the students are not going to be, you know, stepping on each other. There's definitely room to work, make posters, uh, collaborate. Um, so that environment is definitely going to be conducive to, to learning. Um, we also, um, most of the English teachers are, are just thrilled with the amount of storage that we have. I think the rooms in general are very well lit. They're very spacious, um, as I said before, and um, just feels like, feels like home. So we're going to have eight English teachers that are going to be housed here over the course of the school year. We have a couple more that we're, they're going to be uh, kind of moving around um, through a number of different classrooms as we go through different phases. I can't remember, Mr. Baker, do you remember how many uh, moves some of the other English teachers are going to have to make? Um, it depends on the teachers. Most of them, only one. A couple of them may have two. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Mrs. West will have kind of an interesting situation. She's taking over the yearbook program this year. Mm -hmm. so. The yearbook will be run out of what we've been using as our kind of alumni conference room for the past few years. Um, but then for her uh, kind of regular English class load, um, she'll be kind of um, moving around throughout the day to um, some other open locations within the building. But I think it'll be a, once our when she and our students get into the the swing of the school year, I think it'll, it'll become just a natural part of their day, and I think they'll adapt pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna take a walk down the hallway take a peek in some of the other classrooms. It's been exciting. We opened, uh, the staff was able to get into these uh, about a week ago. And so teachers have been coming in throughout the week, personalizing their rooms. That's, I think that's the wonderful thing about education is, is just the way that each teacher's is, uh, personality is able to be uh, demonstrated uh, in, each of, in each of the rooms. So as we walk down the hallway, I mean, it's, it's a, obviously it's a little narrower than wh what you would see in uh, a traditional uh, schoolhouse, but there is still plenty of room uh, in here. And, and, the, and the reality is we're not going to have you know, a, a potential of 800 kids at one time going through a hallway uh, while we're down here. The other thing, too, for our, our, our families to be aware of that uh, the students are, are all going to have to come outside um, to be able to access the English Village. Um, here in the parking lot. 
but it's no different than any of our students that are in our PE classes. Uh, and for our LP alum, you will all recall having to run across the street in the middle of the winter time um, as you're getting over to the, to the East Gym or back over to the main building. So in that respect, this is not a new experience for our, our students. It's just one more area that they're going to have to go to, not unlike the Dolan building or the Auto Shop building if they have classes over there. And everybody has been great to, to work with. The, the uh, Ameren has been um, really good in getting the power uh, set up in here for us. And we had uh, JB uh, Electric, uh, one of our local, local contractors, local vendors, that uh, got the bid to hook the power up to the, um, to the, to the modules. And so it's, it's also great just to be able to have that local, uh, local business uh, involved here. So uh, Harry Potter, well, you know, maybe we'll just leave this as a, uh, as a question for our students to guess mm -hmm. uh, whose room uh, we're, we're in right now. <laughs> well, we've reached the end of our tour of the English Village. I hope you've, you've enjoyed the tour. And I want to give a special thanks to Mrs. Phillips who took time uh, out of her still summer vacation to come and join us today to be able to give uh, her impressions of, of the, uh, the module classrooms and the English Village. Uh, we hope you enjoy this next installment of the uh, Sneak Peek series and we look forward to putting together our, our third video series um, coming up here in the, near, in the near future. Thanks very much. See you soon.